Hello and welcome back to Night Games. We're back once again in Crimson Skies. Uh, last episode, what happened? What did we just do in the last episode? I can't remember. We we recovered Drake's treasure and made like twenty grand, and then we rescued our friend Doctor Fassenbinder from a a flying zeppelin. Rather daring rescue. And uh, we also made like five grand in that little adventure. Apparently we stole the royal jewels. So with all this money burning a hole in my wallet, uh, I think it's about time we jump into the plane construction. Sorry, the baloney fine. But uh, we're going to be checking out a new plane now, hopefully. And I need to come up with an equally, equally bizarre name for this one. Um... Call it the Swiss Miss. Sounds good. I don't know why, but I like it. So, we've got the Fury. We finally got the Curtis Wright J2 Fury. It is a really cool little plane. Not only does it look like a complete badass, but it's also very agile. It's got a good top speed, and we're gonna knock these puppies up a little bit to make them even better, so... Unfortunately, we're going to have to drop all but one hard point to be able to work this plane over the way I like it. Kick that armor rating up. Check out our guns. Oh, we've already got a 70 cal Goliath. Very nice. So, what do we want to do then? How much weight we got? We got like 600 pounds. Hmm. We can upgrade our outer wing gun which will give us a larger gun on the outside. We can upgrade our armor a bit. Or we can upgrade our engine. Hmm. Let's get ourselves a better engine, because we haven't done that before in this playthrough, so we'll do that. And then we can sort of play around with our, our armor a bit. Let's see, that's going to put us over. Okay, so why don't we put a little extra armor on our wings? That sounds good. I'm liking that. We already got our 70 cal Goliath. We got a 30 Zephyr, which is like a little tiny pea shooter, but really that's just like our backup gun if we go crazy with our, our ammo and just burn all the way through it. Black Swan, that's a nice paint, paint job there. We got Studio Security. We have got Hughes Aviation. That's nice too. That's a nice one. Very sporty. Let's go with, uh, let's go with, uh, Hughes Aviation, I think. We're gonna change these colors up. Let's try something new this time around. We'll go with red on the main of the body. Um, outline. What do we want the outline at? Do we want something, something, we want something to contrast, because I think I'm gonna, probably gonna do more red on the outside wing. But then it kind of screws up our main drag there. I kind of like that. Hmm. Let's see. I kind of like the white on top there. That's actually really nice like that, but at the same time, I don't want to just be Hughes Aviation colors with some red instead of yellow. I want to do something new, something different. What about... A yellow. Ew. Ew. What if the outside wings is yellow? Ooh, yeah, that might be interesting. Put ourselves a yellow there and put this with something a little more border -y. dark. That seems a little bright. Maybe dull that down. A little gold? That's kind of interesting. It's kind of Iron Man E. That's interesting. I'm liking that. That's not bad. We'll go with our standard decals or decals. Ah, I don't want that. I want my lingerie lady and the uh, big hairy and our fox wolf friend guy oh okay easy air light paint nice all right that should just about do it that's all of our stuff offense is fair armor is excellent agility is good top speed is good how much weight are we still... Oh, we're like literally exactly at the limit. Okay, so we can't really do anything there. Unless we want to drop these down, put one up here, and then we can improve one of these guns a bit, maybe? 
That won't really actually change our offensive rating at all. Okay, well, we'll just go with what we got. Ready to purchase. Purchase now. Okay. And next mission. Gang, let me introduce Dr. Wilhelm Fassenbinder. Hello. Oh, no, please. It is I who is thanking you. You saved me from the Bolsheviks. I owe you my life. Bless you all. Doctor, show everybody what you were showing me earlier. What? Oh, yeah. At Boeing Special Products, we are working on the most amazing aeroplane, codenamed Blue Streak. Ooh. I give it new nitrous oxide injection that gives sudden burst of speed. But you must get very quiet because this is top secret, yeah? I think we should steal it. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, no, wait. What about my daughter, Elsa? We'll steal her and the plane on the same day. All right! Yeah. Yeah. Boy. Now, all of Boeing Field is protected by Blake Aviation Security, so be careful. They'll put good pilots up against us. At 8.15, like every morning when they ship her in, Ilsa will be traveling aboard this train here. When we get close, she'll climb out on the caboose. I'll pick her up by swooping down close to the train and matching its speed. Caboose. Once I pick up Ilsa, we need a diversion to clear people out of the hangar, where they store the blue streak. Uh, a truck collects fuel from the depot every hour. If we hit the truck while it's collecting the fuel, it could cause a chain reaction that will blow the whole depot sky high. With everybody busy watching the fireworks, I'll fly into this hangar, parachute out, and nab the streak while Ilsa pilots my plane to safety. <laughs> After clearing the area of any remaining fighters, we return to the Pandora. Big John, Tex, I need your sections to cover me on my run. We launch in ten. And don't worry, it'll be simple. Nice and easy. All we have to do is fly in close to a plane, pick up someone who's on that, or flying close to a train, pick up someone who's on the train, destroy a fuel truck that blows up a whole bunch of fuel depots and stuff. Then we have to fly into the hangar, steal a plane while someone else flies our plane off, fly that plane back around, destroy the fighters, and then get back to the Pandora. Yeah, that should, that should be easy. Me and the Swiss miss, we got this puppy covered. Now, as I recall... One of the stickiest parts of this is the actual fuel depot because if you blow it up too soon, you kind of screw everything up. Now, I'm just gonna like throttle way the fuck down because I gotta wait until we hit a nice straight edge here to pick up Ilsa. To pick up Ilsa's caboose, as it, as it were. Ow, ow, ow. Stop shooting me, please. Okay, this is gonna be really rough. Come on, Ilsa, grab it. Come on. Oh, good. We gotta loop around. Get that engine back up. Okay, I'm coming. Don't worry. Here we go. Stay there. Whoa! Christ. Okay. Oh, for God's sakes. Ah, oh, God damn. Gonna try this again. Get ourselves some altitude. Flip over, kill that speed. Come back here, Elsa. Oh, for God's sakes, it's going through a station. Grab it! Oh, oh, that was no good. That wasn't good. It's a good thing we're gonna be ditching this plane in a second. Sack of shit. Quit shooting at me. This is where things get really snaky, because um, that was like the easy section to pick it up back there, from what I recall, because now it's all fucking mountains and cliffs and shit. I'm coming. I'm coming. Okay, I think we got this. I think we got this. Come on, grab it. There we go. Christ sakes. The truck should be arriving any minute now. We'll need to hold off these fighters for just a bit longer, over. Oh god, that was messy as hell. Holy shit. So this down here should be the fuel depot. And when these trucks actually get, you know, in the... Or is that the fuel depot or is it back here? I don't know. But those are definitely the trucks. We have to wait for them to actually get into position before we blow them up. Blow them up. Blow them up. Because if we do it too early, it just, like, breaks the mission, I think. 
we will fail the mission. Jack here. I, you. I can see the trucks, Captain. They're headed for the depot now. Wait for them to get to the depot before attacking them. Over. Whoa. This is a close one. Whoa. Also kind of close. I dare someone to follow me in here. Come on. Shoot me all you like. You're not going to follow me in here. Back here, we got a peacemaker over here, and there's one right on my tail somewhere. Nine o'clock. Ooh, okay, going this way now. Oh, my engine sounds very sickly. Thank you. Prepare to die. Oh, God. I'm taking a beating here. Any kind of help would be nice. Okay, we're in business, Captain. The truck is at the depot and juicing up. There's that guy. This engine's actually a little overpowered. This this mission kind of requires a little more finesse. <laughs> Good night, Irene. You sure know how to start a fireball. Whoa! Break out the marshmallows, y'all. If that don't get their attention, I don't know what will. Do -do. Killed all the enemies. Now, I do know that there's like a bunch of uh, little stunt flight places around here, but they're mostly incredibly dangerous. And since my plane's already kind of smashed to shit, I'm kind of really reticent to uh, do them. Transmitting the radio code now, boss. The big hangar doors are opening. Like, Now's our chance, there's boss. one. Fly into the hangar before they figure out what we're up to. Should I do it? Am I going to do it? Oh, God. This is stupid. I'm going to do it. Oh, this is bad. This is going to end badly. Oh, I'm gonna die. Please, God, be no frickin' play or trains coming through the other side. Okay, almost. Almost through. Almost through. Oh, God, this is dangerous. And we made it! Oh, my God. That was ridiculous. I shouldn't have done that. I could have died. Ugh. Okay, I feel better now. Jesus Christ. So now we just have to fly through this hangar. Poof! And we're gonna steal the blue streak. I've got it. Getting airborne now. Look out, sir. Uh oh. Someone launched right behind you. He's running your tail. I've been cleared to shoot you and our plane down, pirate. Bail out while you can. You have to catch me first, though. I don't know what that engine noise is, but that's really weird. See, we've only got like a little 40 cal gun now. It's really wimpy. It shoots really fast, but it are really tiny bullets. Ironically, this tiny little wimpy plane actually has more hard points than our little custom one. Ha! Nope. Whoa! All right, you mugs. Let's clear out the last of these fighters so we can return to base. Over. All the fighters are down. Okay, fellas. There we Let's go. Let's get back to the barn and see what Fassenbinder can do with our new prize. Whoa, whoa, whoa! This plane is a little squirrely. Do do. up a few uh, few buildings for good measure finally that weird engine noise is gone Christ sakes do 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 hooray we got Elsa's card thingy hi Elsa Mr. Zachary I must thank you Something ever so much for rescuing me from the special prize group and for freeing my father from the something men who kidnapped him. Something? I can't. Re I. My father was right about you. You are a good man and a good friend, Elsa. Thank you, Elsa. That's very kind of you to say. Boy, I am a daring rogue, aren't I? 
And Jack, you still look like you're like 70 years older than me. Okay. Lake A, shot down. Oh, and here we go. We now have access to Nitro Boosters on our planes. On any new planes built, though. So all of our old planes are without. So what I might actually do is go back, sell that Fury, rebuild it with a smaller engine with Nitrous. Just so that it's a little more responsive. But it'll also give us that speed boost if we ever really need it. So why don't we do that now? So it was the Swiss Miss. Right, so we'll call it the Swiss Misses. Misses. Miss us. Miss. Miz. The Swiss Miz. There we go. And then we will sell the Swiss Miz. Boom. Okay. Done. And we will get ourselves. Hey! You piece of sh There's no nitro engines here. We're supposed to have nitro engines. Maybe it's not until after the next mission. God damn it. Oh well. What we will do is we will fly the next mission in our brigand, Sorry the baloney fine. Fellas, but we've got an opportunity and hopefully we will get our on. nitro As you know, we haven't been able to that. afford to fill up the Pandora's tank since the miles shake down. But in one hour, a Russian tanker, the October, comes into harbor chock full of refined fuel to replenish that depot we blew up yesterday. Oh, our plan? Ground the tanker and steal her cargo. Her path will take her by this lighthouse, which she'll use for navigation. First, we have to destroy the generator that powers the lighthouse. A single well-placed shot into this cave on the back side of the island should be enough to knock it out. When the lighthouse goes dark, we'll okay. light up a decoy. The decoy will throw the tanker off her path and cause her to run aground on this sandbar here. That's when the Pandora comes in, docks with the disabled ship, and grabs the goods. Understood? Yes, yeah. sir. Pacifica has patrol boats in the area, so we'll have to take them out before the Pandora can come in safely. Also, the Russians have an escort zeppelin in the area, so expect enemy fighters as well. Now, once the Pandora has swallowed up their fuel, we'll need to keep them from tailing us. We can either knock out half of their zeppelin's engines so that we can outrun them, or we can set the tanker on fire so that the zeppelin will have to rescue their comrades. Either way, we'll still need to clear out any fighters before returning to the Pandora. Yeah! <laughs> Okay, now, I actually hate this damn mission, <laughs> just because we're we're on this map that has so many cool little stunts, and as we saw from the last mission, I have a hard time uh, not doing them, because they're a lot of fun. But they, if you crash, you have to start the entire mission over, which is a huge pain in the ass. Um, but I'm probably going to do them anyways. <laughs> I'm just telling you right now. It's not a threat or anything, I'm just saying. I'm probably gonna do them. Um, yeah. Also, from what I recall, uh, at the end of this mission you can do one of two things. You can either disable the Zeppelin or set the tanker on fire, the fuel tanker. But, uh, as I recall, setting the tanker on fire is kind of a not nice thing to do. Uh, people can get injured or something, maybe. I can't, I'm not sure if I remember this wrong, but I'm definitely going to be taking out the, uh, we'll the Zeppelin. Roger that, Sparks. Heading for the lighthouse now, over. Indeed. So we need to take out the generator, and then we're going to fly through this stupid cave. Whoa! Okay, we made it. Barely. Ever so slightly. Okay. Follow me in here, you asshole. Well, I'll be. Now that's what I call flying. In front of you, bandit at 12 o'clock. Rast, you won't get away so easy next time. I might. Well done, You're not sure. Looks like this one is yours. Better believe it. I'm hit, but I'm okay. Over. 
Not for long. Oh, I love a 70 cal. Oh, it just tears through them like a hot knife through something that hot knives cut. Okay. Now, I think there's other little stunty things around here, but I'm not going to do them around here because I will die. Um, for sure. Without any doubt. Now, there's one right here I can do. In fact, there's two in this one, and one of them will destroy me, I'm pretty sure. I think there's, like, a little passage up that goes, like, straight up from here somewhere. Whoa! Okay, that was kind of weird. Getting these weird little leg spikes or something. Every once in a while, my plane will just, like, zip around a corner really weird. Anyways... What else have we got going on around here? Like, I think there's a hole in the top of this mountainy place here somewhere. And uh, you fly into that cavern from one direction and then just nose straight up. And I can never make it. I always end up slamming belly side first into the rocks. And it always ends badly. So let's see if we can do it. Oh, this is going to end bad. I think it's this one. Is it this one? I don't know. It's been a while. It's probably this one. Yeah, it's definitely this one. Oh, this is going to be bad. Nose up. Come on. Oh, my God. I did it. Oh, God damn it. Sweet Jesus. That was close. I think I've done both of these ones. Oh, patrol boat. Yeah, there are. Take out all these boats. Come on, you stupid boat, die. She's a ground, Chief. All right. You better believe it. You better launch those fighters fast. Because uh, I just took out all of them. All oh, right, here we go. There's the Volstock. Firing. And a plane destroyed. I must be Whoa. dropping two parachutes. Big John here. An escape boat just launched from that tanker. Looks like they're trying to get some cargo to safety. <laughs> I don't think so. Where's that boat they launched? I'm gonna knock it out. Where are you? Is that you? I don't think so, pal. Good work. The Pandora can pick up the stuff later. That's right. You're not stealing Skipper, any of my fuel. Pandora attaching to the tanker now. Give us a few minutes to get the fuel. You better launch some more because they're all dead. Might as well take out some engines while I'm at it. That was a weird accent, but I'll go with it. It's water. Okay, I'm ready. Whenever you are, just go ahead, you know, crash me. I dare you. Come back here, you. Yep, I could use some help over here. Over. Relax, Big John. It's fine. Okay, that's all those guys. It's back to the engines. Actually, we should probably take out some of their turrets. Come on. Oh, is that turret already dead? Nope. Three 
Three of the Vostok's engines are disabled, Chief. Take out three more, and that should be enough to ensure that she can't follow the Pandora. Three more? That should be pretty easy. We're halfway done, sir. Keep those fighters busy for just a few more minutes, then we'll be out of here. Hey, boss, what about that enemy Zeppelin? You know it's gonna pester us when we withdraw. Oh, that was a terrible shot. Hunters, target the Vostok's engines just like we planned. We need to give the Pandora speed advantage. Okay. Let's see here. Just one more engine. Careful, you got them all hot and bothered. Half of her engines are gone. There we go. The state she'll never be able to keep up with the Pandora. All right. Uh huh. All right. I'm taking too many hits. Over. Well, let's go through another sea cave and hope we don't die, because that would be really unfortunate this far into a mission. Oh, it's gonna happen. Okay, we didn't die. Yeah, Holy sure shit! Some fancy flying, boss. Sparks here. We have a full load. Disengaging from the tanker now. Over. Do -de -do -de -do -de -do -de -do. Let's Sorry return that. to base and get out. Whatever your name is, full stop. Out there, folks. The sky is clear of enemies. You are clear to land. A little low to land, don't you think, there, Pandora? All right. Here we go. Coming in for a landing. Perfect. Very nice. Got a bunch of fuel. Enough to keep the Pandora afloat for a little while yet, hopefully. And... What do we got? Didn't make any money. Heroic workers for pirate attack. Blah, blah, blah. Pirate capitalists. Upper... Capitalist, capitalist are two opportunists calling themselves the fortune hunters. Okay. There we go. Now we've got the nitros. I see. Okay. And here's all of our grainy action shots. Can't really see much in there, but there we are. That that must be that close call. Holy shit, that was close. I, have, I don't think I've ever made that out without scraping my whole belly side out of there and just flying the rest of the mission half on fire. So that was kind of cool. Anyways, that will probably do it for this episode of Night Games. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, comment, share, tell everyone you know, tell your grandma. She'd like to hear about it, I'm sure. And tune in next time. Thanks for watching. Good night, sweet internets.